Good evening. Today we're going to talk about the color of orange. It is stronger than yellow and it's stronger than gold yellow. And it really helps with um, extreme fatigue. But you have to be um, careful in a way. The safest way is to put it into your spleen because the spleen regulates the toxins, um, actually cleans out a lot of the bacteria that is unwanted, um, especially through, um, what would you call it? Thick red blood cells, I suppose. And um, most disharmonies are actually to do with um, your circulation. And the color of orange actually um, activates, stimulates on the cellular level. So before I begin, I just want to say hello to everyone. And I'm so grateful that you're here. Mara and Juliet and Lori and Nikki and Drew. Hi, Drew. Antonio, Buenas Noches. And Sylph. Lovely. So, as I was saying, orange is actually a tonic. And if you ever um, feel tired, Lily used to have us um, put this color into our spleen by putting two hands into your spleen, which is on the left side of your body, just around the rib cage, a little below, and visualize orange there. So, hi Nunzio. So right now we can do our first um, silent meditation. So sit comfortably, close your eyes. Visualize the pyramid of pink light with you within it. Expand it to the room that you're in. Take it further to your neighborhood, your village, your city. Take it to your country. And then expand it to planet Earth. Radiate the soft pink of love and peace upon the Earth to Mother Nature, to all the animals and human beings. Slowly return to the room you're in. And take this pyramid of pink to be tiny, like a diamond, and place it in your heart. Place your hands over your heart 
and feel the pink within and the love. And when you're ready, come back to the room. Hi, Laurie. Hi, Andy. Welcome. Just in time. And Roxana. Wow, all the way from Chile. I haven't been there yet. Maybe one day. Right. So the next thing we're going to do is focus on the color of orange and I will put up the image right now. As we have done before, the purpose of this particular form of healing and color attunement is to go beyond the surface color and feel the life force, the light within the color. Spend time just looking at the color. Feel the sunlight. Feel its vitality. The more you feel the life force within the flower, within nature, you align, you become sync with the magic of life. And therefore, you sync with the magic of who you are. Now close your eyes and take the color within. Allow the vitality to travel through your circulation. Take it to your cells. Most of all, place it in your spleen, on the left side of your body, just below your rib cage. If you feel highly emotional, put a few drops of blue along with the orange. Breathe softly. A 
open your eyes and once again gaze upon the dahlia before you. I didn't realize until I started doing this form of healing how important orange is for maintaining harmony and alignment. It's interesting how there are so many different cycles of awakening and healing. I want to say hi to a few people. Roxana, I said hello in, in Carpito. What does that mean? Hang on a minute. Why, well, thank you. Sharika, good evening. So I have um, another I suppose, um, visualization, invocation that I want to take you all through. Because what's um, important is that the more that you align to the vibration of nature, particularly in this case, the more that your mind will serve to create a world that you wish for and hopefully it's one of peace and love. <laughs> you know, there's this um, really well-known phrase called all you create and all you destroy. It's one of my favorite lines, very inspirational. And we really have the power to do that. It's within every one of us. But we have to find our true potential. So let me put up the next exercise. Once again, bathe in the orange light. Let it lift your energy. Allow it to warm within. Feel the magic of life. Then silently say to yourself, I am open to my sole purpose.
I walk gracefully into its flame. I am transformed. I am free to be and honor the gifts given to me. May I be what I was born to be. Nunzio, thank you for your comment. Maybe we all can share it. Hi, Donald. Nunzio said, I wish everyone would actually know why of your live stream there's much more of just helping people find inner peace. It's the empathy to actually be here for them. I'm sure many, many people have no clue of your live stream and am sure they would be happy to know. Well, I would love more people to um, share this. So maybe... Um, everyone can share it spread it out make it what do you call it go well, what's it called when something just catches on okay as you know i'm not very um internet savvy but um we shall see <laughs> The, the color um, of thought streams are meant to be short, about 20 minutes, maybe a little bit more sometimes. Viral, that's it, Drew. Thank you very much. <laughs> Drew, if you, um, because of your particular physical situation, I think you need to do a we call the childhood colors, the soft colors. So maybe use peach into your spleen because um, we don't want to have it detoxing all the chemo and everything too fast. So you just need a bit of um, the help. But put the um, blue from the first few lessons in there with it. I would actually put, we haven't talked about this yet, the violet amethyst color. You know, the pyramid we start off with in pink. Start with um, the pyramid of violet and then put peach and um, soft blue into your spleen. 
so that's the beginning and as I said less message and we'll I've got other things to help you through the disharmony back to harmony um, one thing I I would like to share with you that um, because it's so important to align your thoughts to the vibration of what true life is and the colors of flowers and trees and water and sky is so wonderful. It's the beginning steps of opening up to how to hold harmony within your own body. This is like a tool that you can use to keep coming back to. And the more that we do this, the more harmony will come. And so one thing that is re really easy and great to start your day with is if you take these special things and put them together and rub them until a warmth appears. <laughs> I'll take my glasses off. And then put them over your eyes. There are so many nerve endings in your hands that you can use a color that goes with it into your eyes, which are actually the door to your inner soul dimension. I'm just reading your messages. <laughs> so Lori, I just want to share what she was saying. I've always associated orange with destruction. Think fire and traffic cones. This is a new look on the color. Well, if you imagine they want you to see the cones and it is fire, but the, the thing is there's a fire in the heart. There's a fire in life. And um, that's why Lily used to say we have to um, tone this down with a lot of pe people to peach. Because we haven't um, reached the depth of consciousness yet. And as you um, evolve, it, and get closer and closer to the amazing depth of life. There, there's a warmth. There comes a fire. It's not a destructive fire. Unless you dive in too soon and you haven't done some of the inner growth. It's um, pretty safe to use it in the spleen. But as I said, um, if you're really emotionally unstable at the time, use peach and um, 
a blue. Or if you're working with someone in a healing capacity, as I do, then we have to take that into consideration. Um, and there are many other uses for different disharmonies that this color we used, but um, it's not time to be talking about that one. So here we are again. Julia, you're so kind. So this will be on replay on Be Creative. And it is, um, we post them on Monday into my YouTube. So if you want to listen to any of the colors or replay them just please do that's what they're there for and the more that you contemplate this the more that it will become the magic of you so thank you for coming bless you all be well and um so long and uh have a good evening or a good afternoon wherever you are in the world. <laughs>